T'as trop vite, hein, Mathéo. Et bye. playing from uh, 2008 yeah we start playing in paris and then uh, it was a long break before uh, getting back together preparing the first album how do you how do you see travelers evolving uh, through the years mm. uh, comparing to the first album there's always these uh, sounds that we are trying to um, do together these uh, rock sounds and these compositions with a lot of energy. I think that Matteo's music is, um, I mean, I, I, I find it really enjoyable because melting of really strong riffs and strong melodies but with a, like a contemporary music uh, approach. Uh, approach, yeah, and uh, compositions are more mature mm. and uh, are more uh, impact now and uh, raise the value of each of us because they are, they really fit mm. to the group. Mm. How do you think the playing together parts are evolving? I mean, it's great that we develop, we develop a really strong sound playing together, uh, and also we are less afraid of making the solos or uh, like the thing that makes you a little bit uh, distant from the from the music you play. Now we are more like uh, we are more intense. We are like more like a rock band sometimes in, in that kind of, of way of playing, like more like smashing to the, the stuff and playing together and not and, and caring about the whole thing instead of like making the little solo on that part or so I think we that thing and now is it grew it up and is continuing to grow up and to, to be better. In that band I, I feel like I like, can have a lot of freedom with my all kind of stuff, man. Not only symbols, and but also other objects that I can I can use to make different sounds on the drums. Yeah, it's very it's very fun actually. I listen to you, and you bring this thing. I playing sometimes rhythm we can recognize and transform it to more round thing, and uh, and improvising it's very interesting. I think that uh, Zeppelin arrangement is, uh, I don't know, it fits. But it's your old passion. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because uh, Led Zeppelin was my favorite group. So I, I have a particular uh, love for that group. And also because uh, it reminds me where I come from. And so I, I thought it was a good tribute. One of the difference uh, is also the use of different colors also on this record, no? Uh, so the clarinet and the synth. New stuff that brings new sounds. And, uh, mm -hmm. So Antonin, how do you feel? Uh, 
playing all these instruments. I was talking about the synthesizer. Mm -hmm. It's more like, like another wind instrument because it's a different sound. Mm -hmm. The signal you can filter just like a saxophone or clarinet. Yeah, but you can have a lot of effects. Yeah, also. And, uh, yeah, the idea is to maybe with this group to consider it like an orchestra. Uh, as a listener, you can yeah. close your eyes and you won't know who, who's mm -hmm. doing what. And I think it's interesting. It's not only a jazz band to identify the sound. Yeah, and I like also sometimes that he has a different voice completely, like playing melody as it was a fifth instrument. Not only for the sounds and uh, on the improv, but really there are some parts especially written for it. It brings a different colors to the composition. I think there are also a lot of influences in your music from uh, movies, cinema. I can feel that. Yeah, especially for the forms and the transforming, uh, because that I can really feel like during the tunes and the idea you have in the tunes, like that there is some, there are some images that you you have some kind of images, like when you dream, and it's it's something that it's expressed in a way by playing and the music and listening to it. I think. Yeah, it's also a matter of how, no? How to say something, and maybe also how to say the same thing, but not in the same way of or like uh, unveil uh, some elements that will come back later mm -hmm. and i think it's a kind of a cinema thing also some scenes that you see at the beginning and then you don't understand and then at the end uh, it's revealed uh, you know there is yeah that it's yeah. kind of something you know? so i like this uh, yeah i like this, some little mystery you know also in the music Also, like over the years, like the playing together and listening together music uh, really opened it, like our ears to a lot of different different music, uh, and we influenced each other with the with the music and also with the sounds of the instruments. Uh, you because of different way of thinking of the instrument, the music, and uh, so I think that that is also something that comes into the new recording. In fact, we, 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 we played a lot and traveled a lot. Uh, I think we, you, you used the best elements we, we developed working with this band. You chose like, particular things we were doing on the last repertoire to develop, develop more, particularly in the, in the form, the way we improvise. I think it's, it's a, the result of, of uh, all these this two years of, uh, of yeah. playing this music.